Hi, Steve Gordon here, your friendly neighborhood placentia carpet repair expert. And if you found this recording, there's a good chance that you're somewhere around the placentia area and you need your carpet patched. If that's the case, you've come to the right place. So if you watch this recording and you have any additional questions, feel free to call me here at the office. I'm happy to answer your questions. And then at that point, we can come out and fix your carpet as well if that's what you're looking for. So give me a call. I look forward to hearing from you soon. That's when I could begin to help. And enjoy the recording. Here you go. Hi, Steve here. So you've got some questions about carpet patching or else you probably wouldn't be watching this recording. I'll try to answer a few of the most frequently asked questions about carpet patching right now. So the first thing people usually wonder about carpet patching is what's the patch going to look like? I mean, after all, is it going to be something that's visible from across the room or is it going to be more or less invisible? And the answer to that first question is maybe. Maybe yes, maybe no. It's really impossible for me to know if the patch is going to be visible or not. You see, there are certain factors, actually there's quite a few factors that can contribute to whether or not you're going to see a patch. For example, if you, you have a, a worn carpet in one area, maybe it's threadbare or maybe it's faded by the sunshine, maybe it's soiled, and you take a new piece of carpet and you patch that new piece of carpet right into where it's threadbare or worn or faded, well certainly you will see that patch. However, it's going to look a lot better than what you're probably looking at right now if you're looking at having your carpet patched. If your dog or cat try to dig its way out of a room, you've got an issue and this is probably going to look a lot, lot better. Um, another reason why a patch might be visible is if the nap of the carpet is very short. So if you've got very short nap carpet, it's going to show the seams more than a thick nap carpet. When I was a kid back in the 70s doing this work, uh, we had shag, shag carpet. I mean, you could lose your car keys in there. You could lose your whole car in that carpet. It was so, so long and thick. Um, I mean, we had shag carpet that was, <laughs> it was like that. And um, if, if we put a patch there, it, it wouldn't matter. If, if there could be a gap that's a quarter inch wide in that patch and you would never even see it. It would look perfect. Uh, you could do those patches blindfold. But now with this carpet that's narrow or short, short nap, or even the, the loops of a Berber weave, boy, if that carpet um, isn't 